Okay, last seaberry harvest. I thought I was done, but there's we have two individuals that are incredibly late. I see people picking seaberry in a lot of different ways, and a lot of them are a lot of work. So when you get enough plants, cow poop, to prune them, that's definitely easier than hand picking. Although some varieties are quite hand pickable. Um, and I'm cutting with an eye to leaving a nice horizontal. They need to be cut back. It took me about eight years to fully see that pattern in some ways reinforced. Um, but I'm, I'm cutting so that there's, they want a fruit on the horizontals or even less than ho uh, horizontal angle. So it's best to tend to cut down the most vertical growth and leave a horizontal for next year to become the plant. Or at least leave a shoot, a, a, you know, an apical-ish shoot. Um, and also, I mean, cherry pick them too, you know, like they're really vigorous and they want to be cut back. So you can also just pretty much go for, you know, a lot of the heavy fruit. Um, I'm not cutting these heavy at all, um, but you know, might as well get a little more fruit. That's kind of what you want it to look like. They should be quite loaded. Um, you know, that's got weight of fruit. This one looks a lot more proper than the other one. We tend to get most of the sea berries from a very small number of the plants because they're, they take a while to get all really productive. And it's far better to have less plants that are totally heavy, heavily loaded, than more plants that don't have much on them. It's just you're going to get way more fruit that way, for, especially for your time. So this one, we won't have as much fruit from this bush next year. Obviously, this is quite a heavy take. Um, I don't do, uh, this one hasn't probably been taken this heavily ever. But if I water and feed them well, they're not drought tolerant. That's a total, I don't know, it's a, uh, a misnomer. I mean, maybe some people, for some people they are, for me, they're not. They are one of the least drought tolerant plants in the landscape. So this whole orchard is on drip, which doesn't agree with cows too well. I put it on drip before I got cows and uh, it still works, but, and I tried to get thousands of gallons to these this year via my ram pump and I did. It wasn't a lot of work pumping up from a bottom pond and uh, filling IBC totes, but, they still could have gotten more water and more fertility because they didn't grow all that much this year. You know, these things, these guys can grow like easily two feet a year. And you really want at least a foot. And we only got mostly about 16, six inches. It is a drought, but still we, we watered them like kind of like crazy. Um, I don't water perennial woody plants. I never have. This is the first summer that I've ever watered perennial woodies.